Hey guys, Steel Pot here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing off my collection of hygiene items from the Vietnam War. Most of these I showed off in my personal items video, so go check that out. But this video will be somewhat of a more detailed look into the items that I have, uh, places you can get them, some things that I'm missing, and the government-issued versions of some of these items. Starting out in the top left corner, I've just got a big old can of Barbasol. I got this at an antique store. I'm pretty sure it's from the 70s or before because it has this type of seam on the can and it was like only 98 cents. There's still stuff in here so it's pretty cool. It was only like four bucks so I picked that up right away. It's, it's a pretty nice steal. So moving down, continuing with, continuing with the shaving things, I've just got a vintage looking shaving brush. In all honesty, this is probably from like the 80s but it was just kind of lying around and I thought it looked I guess vintage enough to work for Vietnam. Moving up, I've just got a uh, raise a Gillette razor and a blade holder. This is a safety razor, I'm pretty sure, with the little uh, notches going along the edge. This was one of my great or great great grandpas, so it's from like maybe the 40s or 50s, but I guess it could still potentially work for Vietnam. Just uh, something someone brought from home. Next up, I've got some cream deodorant. This comes in a nice uh, glass or porcelain case. Nothing left in there, but it looks nice and vintage. For really most of the stuff on here, it doesn't. it's not really dated, but I'm guessing it's from the uh, 50s to late 70s. So most of that should work for Vietnam, look-wise at least, and some of it is Vietnam dated. Next up, I've got some aspirin. This is, this also came from the antique store with the Barbasol. They had like a whole hygiene display with stuff, but this has actually still got stuff in here. I know this isn't really a hygiene item, but I figured I'd just throw it in as like kind of a space filler. There's kind of just a big empty space right there, but pretty cool. I kind of was almost scared to buy it at first. Not sure if it like counts as drugs or something. Uh, moving on down, I've got, this is a Vietnam item. Oops called a Stimudent. This came in accessory packets, late war. It's kind of like a toothpick. I haven't opened it, but I've looked up photos. And I'm pretty sure you basically just rub it on your teeth and uh, it kind of acts as a makeshift toothbrush if you're out in the field and don't have a toothbrush. Speaking of toothbrushes, I've just got a toothbrush right here. It was listed on eBay as a Vietnam War toothbrush. It says made in Taiwan though. I'm not sure if you can see that. So I'm pretty sure I got scammed but it looks 60s enough for me, so I, pro I probably overpaid for it, but whatever. Just got a toothbrush. Moving up, I've got a travel shaving kit. I'm pretty sure these were pretty popular in Vietnam. I don't really know, though. This is one of my favorite items because it's really, it's really nice and minty. The toothpaste is still there. The shaving cream is still there. But uh, pretty much what it comes with is in this top left corner, it has the razor blade and the razor head. Moving on down, we've got Listerine toothpaste and some Willems brushless shaving cream, a uh, toothbrush, the handle to the razor, and I think some sort of case for the razors to be held in. But this is one of my favorite I personal items that I own. I really like it. When it it's all zipped up, it looks really nice. And uh, just for Vietnam, I'm pretty sure it works fine. Next up, I've got two things that are government issued, but aren't really hygiene, but I guess they kind of somewhat are. Uh, more like skin care. Just some sunburn uh, sunscreen from 1968 or 67. And some, I'm thinking, I think early war chapstick, but I just threw these in kind of because they're somewhat skin care, which I guess can kind of translate over to hygiene. Here's just some late war accessory packet uh, toilet paper pretty basic. Everyone would have had these. It probably would have gone in a chew hoy bag or something like that, but uh, I just opened up a late war accessory packet and that was in it, so I figured I'd throw that in. Moving up, I've got some 60s or 70s Holiday Inn soap. This was really weird. I bought a, a jungle first aid kit at an antique store and this was in it, so I'm just assuming it's from the 60s. It's got some advertisements for all the stuff it has on the back, which is really cool. And uh, this soap box it comes in, I'm pretty sure this is from the 40s or 50s, but it works great. Made in the U.S., wise buy. But uh, I really like the soap and the soap box. 
uh, really didn't have to pay for either of them. I found this lying around the house and it looked pretty old and I'm pretty sure I dated it around the 50s or 60s because it was in like a, a box with some uh, of my great grandpa's stuff from around that time. And the soap uh, got that for free kind of with the JFAC, so that was pretty lucky. Uh, last thing I've got here is uh, some foot powder. This came from the same antique store as the Barbasol and the Aspirin. Uh, I could not find on eBay for a good price and in good condition the government issue foot powder. I'll put that in the corner, but uh, this is the best replacement I've got. It's just uh, pretty much basic foot powder. Still got some stuff left in there. I don't plan to ever use it, but it's called Campo Fenique Powder. So I've gone over pretty much all the things I've got, and now I guess I'll just list some things that I could have. So while I'm talking about this, I guess I'll just put some images in the corner or just covering up the whole screen. Uh, some things just for hygiene I know I'm missing are uh, aftershave. I'm pretty sure sunup was kind of popular with what I've seen in photos and read. So sunup shaving cream, just like a comb or a brush of some sort, and a mirror, and I guess some government issue foot powder. But apart from that, I think my collection is actually pretty complete, and I'm pretty proud of it. Uh, like I said, there are some things I can still get, but... Oh, one thing I forgot to include was just a towel. This could be used for, I guess, wiping your face off, washing your face, really anything you need. So kind of the ultimate hygiene item to use. Now I'm going to show you all how I pack this stuff away in a ditty bag and uh, really what I put in my ditty bag and what I can just put kind of in my pockets or uh, in a chew hoy bag. Next, I'm going to show you guys how I put all this stuff in my ditty bag. The ditty bag I'm using is just a Crown Royale bag. I'm not sure it's from, if it's from Vietnam or not, but I'm, I've heard that these were pretty popular and you could buy them in PXs. So I just found one lying around the house and decided to use it. First thing I put in is just my shaving kit. The main thing I put in here is the bigger items that I can't carry around in my pockets and uh, the smaller items I just do carry around in my pockets and chew hoy bags or just kind of just around. Next, I put in the Barbasol right next to it. I'm gonna stand this up so you guys can see kind of how I'm putting it in. Next, I slide the deodorant down the side right there. Slide in the foot powder right on top of it and put the shaving brush kind of right in between. Now that you got everything packed up, you can just put it inside your bigger pack, such as a lightweight rucksack, an Arvin pack, an M41. And in my case, I'm putting it in my Claymore bag because it's a tight fit, but it fits almost perfectly. It's great for easy access. And there you go. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you liked it. If you did, uh, drop a like down below. Comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.